It's expected to pump $4 million into Tasmania's economy, but the massive trawler set to call Devonport home continues to divide opinion. The FMV Margiris is expected to arrive in Tasmania in two months. To some, the massive trawler factory ship is seen as a shot in the arm for the economy. To others, it's a major threat to fish stocks. Seafish plans to base the 142-metre FV Margiris at Devonport in northwest Tasmania. So we'll be fishing throughout that area from New South Wales around Tasmania all the way to Western Australia. The company has been granted an 18,000 tonne quota for jack mackerel and red bait. The ship can store up to 4,000 tonnes on board, which will be frozen and shipped to Asia and Africa. The operation is expected to employ 40 people. This can only bode well for more investment, uh, for Australian jobs, Australian shipping. The economic benefits have failed to convince conservationists, worried about the reliability of information on fish stocks. That means that if we are basing a fishery on old data, we, we may be overfishing the stock. This is a very strictly managed fishery by the Australian Fisheries Management Authority. It's under a statutory management plan and under a harvest policy which, which sets the size of the allowable catch. Greenpeace chased the Margiris along the coast of West Africa earlier this year and is considering protesting again if it enters Australian waters. We hope it doesn't come to that. In, in, in the first instance, we'll work with uh, Tasmanian groups that, uh, that are likewise concerned at what this ship could do. Fishing is expected to start by August, but the company still has to clear one last hurdle. The fishing authority says the Lithuanian registered ship must be declared an Australian vessel before the nets hit the water. Jonathan Gould, ABC News, Devonport.